What's up folks, Maxlin Studios here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Radica Sega Genesis Volume 2 Plug and Play System. This is the system itself that has all the games in it. This is Sega Genesis, the power button, which is supposed to be written as Sega, the power is supposed to be right there, and the reset is supposed to be right there, and that's the, and the lights right there, and it's supposed to be on that. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't come with. It doesn't use two controllers. It only uses one. It use. It uses one, which is which is an unfortunate thing. And also, it comes with composite and mono audio cables plug into your into into your TV, which just like most plug and plays, definitely. Also, on the back here, it has a has a it has a spot for a for a six volt. Uh, adapter so if you have that it didn't include it doesn't include that so so if you have one so you <clears throat> so if you had one you won't even need batteries so so the batteries on the bottom right there which what you what you can do <clears throat> what you can do is just you are gonna unscrew that which which certain people definitely hate um um and, and then and then you open the back, you put your four AA batteries in here, which that way it doesn't weigh down the controller. Now to the controller. This is a really cool controller. See, it's red, and it's it has a sticker in the middle saying 16-bit power. It says Sega Genesis and Radica. There's the trigger and ABC buttons. And the D-pad. The D-pad is feels much more, even more comfortable than a regular Genesis controller. And the backside says all the difference in Radica. In fact, nothing on the back, but but the buttons sound fantastic. Look phenomenal. Even much better than a regular Genesis controller. And and both of them, and in both this and the, and both this controller and the regular Genesis controller, they have the dimensions right. They're the same dimensions. So let's compare the difference between with with the difference between between this controller and the regular Genesis controller. Um. As you can see, the, the difference in the texture, the texture of this is smooth, and then this has a little bit rough. The D-pad on feels even a little bit. But this here is a lot comfortable. And the buttons on the regular Genesis controller but this Fantastic. He has a menu button to go back to <clears throat> in the back here just says Sega, not Radica, so because this is owned by Sega. And it also says Sega Genesis, which is a different logo than that. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Looks like we have everything all set so let's go pop up to the screen to review oh yeah and another thing I want to tell you is that and these plug-and-play systems long ago when they used to make those they had some issues with the audio that with the distorted and the PSG square waves that are just low pit and load low down the volumes those are the issues that that when they made those so I'm gonna let you hear those, uh, and and while we review the games on this, so let's review those games on the screen, shall we? All right, power's on. All right, welcome to the Sega Genesis Radica Six and One Volume Two um, menu. So we have six games here. So we have Sonic 2, Echo the Dolphin, The Ooze, Cowards, Game Ground, and Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. 
Now, back to what I said before, is, is, is that the audio on this is terrible. That's how Radica basically made it. And what they shouldn't have done. But any, anyways, let's start with Sonic 2 first, because that's the most popular game. game is when you're uh, basically a puddle uh, guy which which slithers, slithers around the stages trying to take out the orbs or Part 
one. Oh god. Those are the DNA slots right there. One of those things. Alright, let's go. Get those guys. Get those guys. Toxic Dump, Part 2. Got all my DNA power. Right on the right. Up on the up left corner.
Up here is Gang Ground. It's a game where you have a, where you have a warrior, um, where you're being as a, where, where's it a type of warrior game where you just, like, shoot some arrows and shoot the bad guys and uh, make make sure that you beat every stage with H. When you kill all the guys, you beat a level. Your level has been beaten. If you if all the enemies are I mean, if you kill all of the enemies in the, in the, in the stage, in the round, I mean, in the round, um, you cleared the, you definitely have cleared the round. So, so I, just, just like I, just like I did, I killed all the guys and cleared the round. Yep.
the dolphin it's a game when you play as a dolphin named echo around the ocean world talking to dolphins and talking to dolphins and and sorry about that and and communicating about going about about other things and going jumping up and down like that that's normal that's what dolphins do mostly that's that's normal. What dolphins do? So, communicating and trying to be on stages and trying to help save the. Save the audio is just very terrible. This. Let's see, dolphin. There we go. It says, "Sing to the shelled ones, and they will heal your wounds." Actually a Tetris. It's an. A, it's actually a Tetris game, and and would you collect all the? Would you collect all the? All the uh, thing would you like the glass material? Um, you sort of sort them into different.
all done with the columns. Alright, all done. Back to me. Our last game is Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. It's a fun game. It's a it's an early platform game. It stars with Sega's early mascots. of the sound tests, shit like that. Alright, let's, let's go move on. Alright, Rookie Town. <coughs> right. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Got some coins. Car. Oh my god, I got hit by the plane. Yeah, one hit could kill you. And make sure you could... I'm like, one like, like, one hit. You only have one hit in this, in, in this game. So, so if you get hit, you will lose a life.